Hi, I'm Lisa Filia, your confidence coach for your career. Let's talk about mind management. And really, the key from this video is that you can manage your mind at any time. And this is important for us to know because I think a lot of times we can get swept up in our own thoughts and let them take us down this roller coaster, thinking that they're true, thinking we have to analyze them, overthink them, really dive into getting to know them. And I'm saying that you don't have to. You can stop that. You can manage your mind in a way where you don't have to go down the cascade of thoughts that can happen. All right, so that's what we're talking about. And by the end of this video, you'll have some clarity about how you can do that for you. What can help make these concepts come alive, I find, is to have a story or, or an example that is relevant in, in real life so you can see how it's showing up. And so for me, I, I want to share how I came to this discovery um, or I more so re-remembered <laughs> this discovery. And so what it was was I was leading a webinar and on this webinar, somebody left a comment. It was in a Q&A box, so I'm the only one who can see it. And so my eyes, as soon as the comments left, I dart over and they can see it. And there was nothing wrong with this comment. It was a perfectly valid comment. And, and when I first read it, I noticed this uh, physical reaction in myself. I could tell that I had an opinion about this comment, an opinion that wasn't helpful an opinion about how this person wasn't maybe bought in and uh, was pushing back. And so I didn't notice all of those thoughts necessarily right away. I just noticed this feeling in my body. This like, um, what what was it? It was like a, uh, I just like gasped for air, even though I hadn't actually. That's what it felt like internally uh, and prickly in my cheeks. And so I noticed the feeling. But since I was on a webinar, I knew that it wasn't the time for me to try to figure out what was going on or to get defensive or um, to worry about what this meant about me, about this person, about the webinar. And so I immediately just told myself, all right, we're having some thoughts, we're having some feelings. Okay, Roger, got it. And how can I help this person? How can I help them? How can I answer this question? Which is a really good question, even though it gave me a reaction. Uh, my thoughts about the question gave me a reaction. And so I was able to put aside all of the worry and concerns and doubts and insecurities that were coming up for me in that moment and concentrate on the question, decide how I wanted to move forward and answer it effectively. So at the end of the webinar, I was wondering, how was I able to do that? And my response was, well, it's because I was facilitating a webinar. I was on. And when I'm on, I know not to listen or buy into all of the insecure thoughts uh, that come up for me. I know that that's not going to be productive or helpful or help the people on the webinar. And so I made an, I have this like a rule that when I'm on the webinar, I'm on and I'm not going to uh, entertain the, the cascade of worry thoughts that can often come up. I just won't do it. It's one of my things. I don't do that on a webinar. And so I thought that this was just something because it was a webinar. And what I've since realized is I can choose to think about it that way at any point, at any time. It's not the fact that I was on the webinar. It's the fact that I made this decision that I don't entertain worry thoughts or insecurities. I can notice that I feel that way and acknowledge that that's the feeling I'm having and be okay with that. But that doesn't mean I need to start questioning every thought that's coming up, really analyzing it, overthinking it, going down this what if, what if, what if path that doesn't really help, just makes me feel even more insecure. I don't have to do that. And so the reason I bring up this story and how it relates to mind management is you can make the same decision in your life. You can decide the same thing. Decide that you are someone who doesn't entertain these thoughts of self-doubt. You don't have to. It's up to you. And if you make that commitment to yourself that, you know what, I'm not going to go down the what if, what if, always doubting, wondering, worrying path today. That's just not in my schedule. Like when I'm on the webinar, I don't have time for that. I need to help these people. Do that in the daily world with you know what? I have things to do. I have 
transformations to have and I can't be doing that if I'm analyzing every thought that comes to mind and using that as more evidence for why I might be insecure or using it to just become this thing to focus on and grow and build for the sake of trying to understand it. But really all it does is carry you down this path of um, doubt, insecurity, and overthinking. Okay, so that is what I have for you today in this video. It's really transformed how I think about it, and it's helped me to see that I can be on, like webinar on, anytime. Now what I do wanna iterate is I'm not saying you should never figure out what it is that you're thinking about those insecurities, but I'm saying you put structure around it. So for me, that looks like I pick times where I sit down and I ask, why was I feeling insecure? What was coming up for me? And I really analyze it. I really see what's going on. And so it's about picking and choosing the times instead of letting the insecurity drive you. Letting the insecurity be what determines when you entertain those thoughts and when you don't. Instead, you're in the driver's seat. You're deciding, this is the moment I want to see what's going on. And this is the moment I don't. This is the moment when we're not entertaining that and we're moving on. And guess what? A lot of times we think we need to entertain these thoughts because we think we need to really understand them. But I found that not to be the case. Our brains, they get kind of bored sometimes. And so they just find ways to entertain themselves, some of that being overthinking. So you don't actually have to figure out the deep-rooted why, or even if there is a deep-rooted why behind all of these thoughts you're having. You can just decide, you know what? Now's not the time. I'm not going to entertain that and move on. All right, there you go. Have a wonderful, beautiful day, and we will talk soon. Thank you. Bye.